You get a rat and you put it in a cage and you give it two water bottles. One is just water and the other is water laced with either heroin or cocaine. If you do that, the rat will almost always prefer the drugged water and almost always kill itself quite quickly. Wow, what a horrible conclusion. But wait, there's more. Hang on to your seat, baby. In the 70s, Professor Alexander noticed we're putting the rat in an empty cage. It's got nothing to do except use these drugs. Let's try something a bit different. So Professor Alexander built a cage that he called Rat Park, which is basically heaven for rats. They've got loads of cheese, they've got loads of colored balls, they've got loads of tunnels. Crucially, they've got loads of friends, and they've got both the water bottles, the normal water and the drugged water. But here's the fascinating thing. In Rat Park, they don't like the drugged water. They almost never use it. None of them ever use it compulsively. None of them ever overdose. You go from almost 100% overdose when they're isolated to 0% overdose when they have happy and connected lives. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. And that is why brotherhood is essential. We benefit greatly when we form connections with each other. For those of us who have embraced the MGTOW philosophy, that label gives us something to bond over to relate to, and to focus on within our own personal growth. Many of us know about the recent news regarding Sonic Viper. That took us MGTOW brothers working together to help a man in need. Then there's MGTOW Outlaw, who put out a video a couple months ago titled My Brother's Keeper, where he voiced a concern of his. I'll leave a link in the description below. Cool. Sounds like a plan. And I want to say that our haters don't understand this, which may be the case with some of them, such as the Jeff Soy Boy who runs the channel MGTOW as a hate group, or that low-value pickup roach Scott McKay, but most of them know damn good and well that this bond exists. They hate that bond. Men aren't allowed to have friends, according to these jerks. We must submit to the superior sex and sign our lives away to the wonderful government. This is what Andrew Claven and Ben Shapiro want. This is what the Southern Poverty Law Center wants. We are not submitting to their wills, and that angers them. It probably scares them too, but I guarantee that our enemies are angered by our mere existence, by our refusal to forfeit our value to them. Fuck them. I am not nice. Never forget, brothers, that if you abuse alcohol, it will abuse you back.